Hello everyone, good afternoon and this is your teacher Naina. I'm here with a new interesting session that is 10 tips to concentrate on your studies. So everyone, welcome to SwiftLearn. SwiftLearn is India's most sincere learning destination for the classes 1 to 10. Here we are providing 100% live and interactive classes and personalized attention batch with maximum 6 students. So everyone, Book your free trial class today itself and get ready to enjoy the art of learning with Swift Learn. So everyone, this is your interesting topic for today, 10 tips to concentrate on studies. So welcome everyone and over here. It's a crucial time for all the students who are preparing for various exams. As the exams are arriving closer with each passing day in this society, and in this technology, it's a big deal for students to stay focused towards their studies and do not get distracted from different means. But take it easy. There are ways by which you can improve your concentration. So get ready to learn all those 10 secret tips. So there is a famous quote that is concentration and mental toughness are the margins of victory. So make a proper routine. Let's begin with that. Sooner is better than later. This is probably one of the most important thing you can do. Get things done as far in advance as you can. Days, weeks, months, there is no time limit. Doing things early ensures that you will always have time ahead of you which gives you the options to make your own choices. The next one. Day is better than night. Doing things during days is always better than doing at night. Trust me, when I tell you that reading at 10 a.m. is quite easier than tackling the exact time assignment at 10 p.m. Even the 7 p.m. can be much easier than the 10 p.m. You're more tend to tired at night. That's a fact. Imagine your willpower as a cup that gets filled up as the day goes on. By the time you went to classes, worked hard and finished a big dinner meal, your willpower cup is pretty full. You just aren't motivated to do hard things during that time. So the next one, hard first and the easy last. As Clifford Cohen said, do first what you don't want to do the most. Early is when you are at your freshest and your brain is clearer during that time. You are more likely to underestimate your time with a harder subject. The next thing, take small bites. A study habit that saves you time when you have a big goal. The earlier you start the better. Pick up the next thing on your list and just drive in. Taking small bites in the best cure for the procrastination. When you take small bite early, you will reduce the number of confusing concepts that you have to deal with at any one time. The next thing is wrapping up completely. Whether it is a class, lecture or a reading a problem or a set anything else, you don't want to leave any loose ends. Please ensure that. And the next thing is take periodic breaks. I'm a huge believer in taking frequent breaks during the study sessions. One of the common systems to force the periodic break is called Pomodoro Technique. Basically, this break your task into 25 minutes of work session followed by 3 to 5 minutes of break. Find an appropriate learning environment. It's good to remove all the interruptions while you are studying because all those things will definitely distract you from the studies. So find a quiet area, but if you are a nature lover, go outside and let's continue with your learning. The next one is clear the study place. So clear out the things which you do not need for your study and clear out the study place, organize it well so your mind will tend to have more attraction towards studying and do concentration exercise. While preparing for exams, usually please do some breathing exercise or meditation. 
doing at least 20 to 30 minutes of physical exercise will help you to pump more oxygen in your brain and you will be more focused. Switch off unnecessary electronics. All are all of us are driven by uh, electronic gadgets like mobile. So nowadays students study with one eye on books and other on social media. So while preparing for exams, remove all the distractions by switching off your mobile data and install all the games from all of your cell phones and computer, switch off music, listening devices. And conquer the procrastination. Over here, get enough good night sleep. Sleeping for 8 hours is necessary for a, having a better smooth functioning of your body. So good sleep will definitely make the difference from being completely exhausted and confused to sharply focused and determined. So these are the symptoms you can follow to improve your concentration on your studies. So apply them religiously and see the difference. If you find any difference, please comment below. So thank you everyone for coming today. I hope you enjoy the session. If you enjoy the session, please like, comment and share. Thank you.